My name is Tamika Norton Brown, X2 Project Coordinator. So, oh, Tamika, please describe your personal experiences in dealing with the sleep challenges for, of your loved ones with dementia. I was in a very unique position where I was caregiving long distance for my aunt and then subsequently for my uncle who both had dementia. Due to the fact that I was long distance, I would receive telephone calls um, at random times of the night. Um, and I would also receive hang up calls from them at random times of the night. The one thing that I did notice was that as their disease progressed, and especially for my aunt, she would be up at night in the kitchen going through cabinets looking for specific items. And she would do this for hours and hours on end. Um, the concerning part was that she was in a wheelchair. And so a lot of times we would hear things drop when we were visiting her and um, we would hear things dropping and it would just be that she was unable to sleep. Yeah, my name is uh, Dr. Scott Pickett. Um, I'm an associate professor at the Florida State University College of Medicine. Please share with some of the strategies that you'll discuss in the workshop for sleep improvements of caregivers and persons with dementia. Yeah, so some of the tips that I will discuss are related to what we call sleep hygiene. Um, so sleep hygiene is basically all of the things that you would need to do to make sure that your sleep is really clean. Um, so, you know, those are things that you might be doing during the day um, that, that could be creating uh, an, an, a situation where your sleep might not be as good as it can. Um, it also might include the environment. Um, so things in your environment that might be contributing to a, a sleep environment that isn't you know, good for, for sleep. Um, and then of course, I'll discuss some strategies around um, stress reduction, um, uh, lowering that, that you know, level of arousal, um, maybe managing some of the worrisome uh, or anxious uh, experiences or thoughts that individuals might be having. Um, keeping your sleep on a, a more consistent uh, schedule and strategies to do that. Please join us for our next Facebook Live workshop on Thursday, November 9th from 7 to 8.15 p.m. Eastern Time entitled Managing Sleep Difficulties and Caring for a Loved One with Dementia, Strategies for Success. Please join us. Mm -hmm.